Hello everyone, in this video we are going to work with date time functions. If I want to get the current date, I can simply say select get date. I can use this get date function. This gives me the current date. Now, if I say select day and here if I pass the date mm month date and year mm ddyy it will give me day out of this day is 24 same way if I copy this paste and instead of giving date manually if I say get date should give me the current day of the date now instead of day if I say year it will extract year from the date in the same way if I say month it will extract month from the date. Month is 12, day is 24, year is 2012. So we have various functions month, day and year. If I say select get date and if I cast this as where care 13 and execute this it will give me the date in this format month April day 14th year 2011 now If I say select year from employee date of birth as year of birth, so I'll be applying these functions on the columns of my table and I'll say employee ID, comma, employee name comma year of birth from tbl underscore employee now we can see how this year function works so it will give me year of birth now I can say order by year of birth Now the records got arranged in ascending order as per the year of birth of employees. So I can use year function in this in this way. Now what if I want to find the age of the employee? For that I have a method called as select date diff, which is very important as far as interview is concerned date diff yy I want to find the difference date difference in year start date I'll set the start date as date of birth so say let's take my date of birth it's 6th August 1984 oops this is the start date. I need to give end date as well. I'll say get date. I so it will take start date as this and end date as this and it will execute this. So my age is 27 years. Copy this, paste it instead of years. If I say 
m m which will give me my age in months so i am 320 months old copy this paste it here if i say d d it will give me my age in days i am non I am 9747 days old so to an extent of seconds we can go with this so I am so many seconds old so dead the function we can use wherever we need it let's apply this dead function in our employee table and find out the age of all the employees instead of year I'll go for date diff I want the age in years start date is employee date of birth end date is get date and here I'll write it as age and order by age I got all the employees whose ages are 11 year, 12 year, 13 year, 15, 18, 20, 22, 26, 27. So this is how you can use date diff. In the same way as we can find the date difference, I can go for adding some years or months or days to a given date. You can use a function called as date add say I'm creating a shopping cart application if a customer orders any product that product should be delivered within 15 days from date of order so I need to get the delivered date so I'll say current date plus 15 days will give me a new date so I want date to be incremented in days and it should be incremented by 15 to current date so I'll say get date it will give me a date 15 days from now after 15 days from now I can write 315 as well 315 days from now will be 2012 so this is what my get date so this is what my date at function do so from using this function I can get the date of delivery so this is all about your date time functions hope you might have enjoyed this videos so in our next video we will see group by clauses thank you very much